Before we continue our discussion of ggplot, I thought it would be appropriate for me to make a few comments regarding the course topics and how the course is progressing. Until now, we've been focusing our efforts on learning some tools. So we first strengthened our understanding of R and then we got into ggplot for data visualization. We've just about covered a little bit on ggplot. So uh, in the next two sessions or two weeks, we'll be spending a lot of time learning more and more about ggplot and strengthening our skills. And then we'll also be learning an R package called dplyr, which makes it very easy for us to take large data sets and quickly beat them up into the shape that we need in order to do analysis, right? So if we, we may want to summarize the data in a certain way, dplyr will help us to do that very easily. Or we may have some ideas for certain plots, but our data may not be in a form that is ready for these plots. So we would use dplyr to summarize the data and bring it into a form which is suitable for the kind of visualizations that we want, right? So the first thing we are doing is really building up our strength in the tools that we'll be using for exploratory analysis. But of course, as we do that, we are seeing many examples of EDA, exploratory data analysis, as we are strengthening our skills in the tools. Okay, so at this point, we are focusing mainly on learning tools for uh, doing the things we want to do. And incidentally, getting some ideas of what exploratory analysis can be about, right? But once we finish, talking about the tools, we'll focus more specifically on the practice of exploratory data analysis by first looking at a general kind of framework for EDA. That is, given a large data set, where do I start? How do I go about analyzing this, exploring this data set? What kind of general guidelines do we have to do that? Right. So that is what I'll be covering in the form of a general framework for exploratory data analysis. And then, of course, we will do some detailed examples on large data sets. OK, so we'll take a couple of large data sets and apply the framework and look at all kinds of analyses that we can do to explore those two data sets. OK, so that's really how we're going to be going about it. So at this point, you're right in the middle of the first part, which is the learning the tools with which you can do exploratory data analysis.